here on the Games Done Quick Twitch channel. It's good to see all of you again. I hope you had a wonderful AGDQ week and a slight week off. I'm happy to be back. Uh, a few quick things before we get started. First of all, AGDQ 2021 online is complete, as I just said, and the total is $2.77 million for now. As a reminder, mm -hmm. all of GDQ's portions of subs, gift subs, prime gaming subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ channel during the month of January will be donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, so there's still a chance that we can hit that $3 million total. GDQ Hotfix is a series of shows that happens every week here on Games Done Quick. Information on all of our Hotfix shows is available at gamesunquick.com slash hotfix. And if you are watching on YouTube and would like to support our live content, please consider checking out our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash GDQ. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to any Twitch channel of your choice every month for free. It's true. Please consider using your Prime Gaming account to subscribe to the GDQ Twitch channel. So, welcome back to Challenger Approaching. Uh, this is a show where we show off challenge runs and the runners who perform them. These are difficult runs where runners decide to do just that, challenge themselves <clears> in the game. And today we have Reed. Reed, what are you playing for us tonight? I am playing Paper Mario, Pre-Hook Tail Pit, specifically. So what, what exactly is Pre-Hook Tail Pit for those people who don't understand the game that well? Pre-Hook Tail Pit is a, a category where you actually don't beat the game. And you go, you get, you gather as much things as you, as you can to prepare for the pit. And you got to do it before beating Hooktail. So you cannot beat Hooktail, the chapter one boss. You have to do it before beating her and go down to the pit and beat the hardest boss in the game. Awesome. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about the run? <sighs> There's a lot of RNG <laughs> in it, so I'm not sure, but I, 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 I've done. Sweet. A well, of this, so I think uh, I'm good. Twitch chat, I know you're there to support Reed as well. So let's get a lot of love in the chat for Reed. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I think if we're ready here, we can do a countdown in a second here. Tech, if Tech is ready to go, then we can uh, we can jump right into this thing. And uh, I think, Reed, I think we can go ahead and, and hit a countdown, if I'm not mistaken, as, as long as production is all ready. Yeah. Great, all right, Reed, give a countdown when you're ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Good luck, have fun. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, this is Paper Mario. I feel like everyone knows this game. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, you should check it out. It's a good game. This is uh, this is my favorite game. Did you know that? It yeah, is? Thousand like Thousand Year time. Door is my favorite game of all time. Huh. It's it's up there for me, really. It's I, I when I played this as a kid, I was like really. I feel like every kid was like immersed in this game. Like it's it captures the feeling very well. I agree, and I I love it. So yeah, the, the this is prologue. It's there's nothing very crazy about it, you know. Like you would do it on the second playthrough, you match your text because you know, you know what they say, all that. So it's nothing special. But we do get to some crazy movement later in the the run, which I can, uh, am excited to show off. So hopefully all of that goes well. Sweet. I'll be. I'll, Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry. Uh, okay, good, good, good. I thought I cut off for a second. We were getting it. There was some slight feedback, but I think I fixed it. Okay, good. So in this first couple of minutes, is there really anything like, you know, I, I, a lot of people will know that the prologue for this game is a little bit long and really kind of is a lot of text here. Uh, but then when it comes into the Lord Crump fight, which is kind of the first big thing, um, is there, uh, you know, anything quick that a speedrunner can do in this first section to kind of speed things up besides just mashing text? <laughs> um, so prologue is actually only 10, se uh, 10, 10 minutes. Uh, typically it's a little longer than that, like... 14, 
20, uh, 20. But we actually do a trick of two frame perfect jumps before the blooper room to get to chapter one quicker. So prologue, prologue, most of it is just mashing, but there's some movement in there. And this first boss is pretty simple. You jump on him, you super guard or block him, up to you. You gonna go for the super guard? Yeah. What's the frame window on that? <laughs> Frame window for super guarding is actually three frames in a 60 FPS game, so that's not a lot of time. And there are a lot of quick attacks in this game, so it's actually kind of hard. But you can match them pretty easily if you, you know, do it a lot. Um, normal guard uh, is just eight frame window, so it's a little lenient. And the reason why I play on English is because English is actually better for not not necessarily faster per se but it's better because you, there in the japanese version of the game there's a lot of things you can't super guard but in the english version you can super guard almost literally everything so yeah what are the big english versus j differences for this game so for pre hooktail pit specifically because there's a lot of changes outside of it um the pipes in the pit spawn faster in Japanese. Uh, there's a glitch called Sort Glitch in Japanese, which you can, if you have like any healing item, you can basically infinitely use that item forever and it'll never leave your inventory. US doesn't have that. Um, some mechanics are just different in JP, like paper mode. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really about it. Everything else is pretty much the same for JP. It's just that the super guardian aspect is really important for this category because it basically Mario takes no damage while your opponent does. So, and that's that's really good for like an under level run of the game or even the pit itself. Yeah, what is because you take no damage. What is sort of so. the main strategy for pre hooktail pit? Uh, do you want to get your partner into a pearl? HP and there's a badge in a game called Mega Rush P and when your partner is in Pearl it would boost their attack by five I think if I remember correctly and yeah you want to basically do that the whole entire run Just try to manage your partners and not level them up or heal them specifically Koops later Goombella you want to make her into Pearl and Koops not be in Pearl and I gotta buy a few items here I gotta buy two fire flowers. Oops. So yeah, read basically for the, uh, you know, the front half of this run, we'll just be doing tons of prep because as you can imagine, uh, the Pit of 100 Trials is something that you're supposed to do really late game uh, in a Thousand Year Door playthrough. Usually the last thing you do before uh, entering the Palace of Shadows. Um, and so, you know, it, this is a lot of prep because you could technically just go, you know, get the uh, the paper airplane and then go straight to the Pit of 100 Trials and just have a grand old time. Uh, or you could do what Reed is going to do, which is a lot of clever work to set up his uh, both his party and himself uh, with good items, badges, etc. Uh, to be able to take on the Pit. And the majority of his leveling is going to come from the pit itself. Yeah. Like, how? what level do you enter Basic. the pit at, and what level are you usually by the end? You enter the pit at level 2, and you leave around, like, 20-something. <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> underleveled that the enemies, like, elite wizards that you see at the end give so many star points. Yeah. It, it, they just feed you star points. Uh, it actually, surprisingly, the star points is actually surprisingly balanced at the beginning, but then it becomes, like, kind of crazy at the end, because, you know, they're higher leveled. One thing this game actually doesn't tell you about, every enemy has an assigned level. Like, the game never specifies that, and that level matters only to their, it only tailors to their, their star points, but, yeah, that's something they never talk I did about. Not know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So are there enemies have a lot of unique things, but they just don't tell them. No tell player you about facing it. stuff. 
So yeah. are there any like <laughs> big skips in this category that that are worth it? Uh, it uh blooper skip really. That's about it for this category. If it were to, like any percent or something, that'd be a bigger list. There are some few tricks that you know save a lot of time, but not like you know need it for a pre hook tail right. pit. If you were to like do a run of this yourself, you wouldn't need to do like blooper skip. Really, you don't. If you're if you're doing this for the first time, you want to try to avoid doing blooper skip because that skips sweet treat, and sweet treat is a thing that heals you, or it's a special move that can heal you. And I don't get that. I skip that. Yeah, in my because every time you use it, I've attempted well. this challenge twice, and I can tell you, if you plan on trying this challenge on your own, get sweet treat. <laughs> Because yeah, you can, in the helps. later floors, you can go into a fight, use Sweet Treat, and then run from the fight, and then go back into the fight and appeal, and then run from the fight, and then just do that over and over again to get your HP and FP back. Yeah. And the trick I just did is called HRG. You want to jump on the first frame available that you can for Mario and jump into the water. And the game was like, wait, we didn't update your positioning because like the game updates everything by frames obviously and the game actually gets confused it's like wait you we didn't even get to read the frame you like stepped on the floor so it, it it's like you know what whatever we'll just spit you at the zero zero axis roughly sometimes it can spit you out of different little spots but it's not big of a difference so that's what i did there to make mario go on top of the yellow block and hrg is hazard respawn glitch right yeah right hazard respawn glitch that stair movement read was spicy. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm actually number. I'm actually third in any percent for this game. For it. so I'm actually really good. Subtle <laughs> but not subtle flex. <laughs> no, Reed. Reed really is. Reed really is quite good at this game, uh, and uh, also quite competitive at Super Mario Sunshine as well. Just recently, you got a 114 or a 115, right? 114, hey, 9th place. <laughs> uh, so Reed is really competitive in a lot of speedruns. Uh, so this is definitely going to be a great run to watch. Uh, as this this is a run that Reed does as a speedrun, but is also a really interesting challenge run uh, to just do on its own. Yep. Also, if you see Mario jump like facing upwards like this constantly, that's called the speed swap. And that basically stores Mario's speed, like a lot of it, really. I, well, th it, there's more to it. Like, if Mario's facing, like, if you're moving upward or downward, your speed actually increases compared to moving left and right. And you, what you want to do is you want to flick upwards on your analog stick, up and left or up and right, or down and left and down and right. And that stores that speed and doing frame perfect jumps you, uh it'll just keep the speed and maintain it there's a lot of frame perfect tricks in this game and there's another one upcoming basically all of prologue or the other half of it the latter half of prologue and is this another instance of hazard respawn yep you get two frame perfect jumps and go in the water it's very hard but i'll try and i got it Hey, let's go. So once you <laughs> land on that sail platform there, uh, it can't update Mario's spawn position to that specific tile thing. Uh, so as long as yeah, uh, as long as Reed can make the two frame perfect jumps off of the concrete, uh, then he's all good. Also, yeah, the invisible pipe. That's the best part. Oh yeah, the invisible pipe. It actually doesn't load the pipe. Strangely enough, because it, it's it's tied to a texture, not like an animation or anything. So it's kind of weird. But yeah, <laughs> and the the game doesn't update your uh, positioning on objects, so stuff like pipes, blocks, so on and so forth. It'll it won't update it. So that's why I can step on the boat panel and it'll won't update Mario's positioning. Some some things, some of them do, but. I typically don't do uh, it. For anyone just joining us, uh, now that we're a little bit into the show, this is Challenger Approaching, a show where we show off challenge runs. Uh, and Reed is attempting Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door pre-Hooktail Pit of 100 Trials, which means that 
the restrictions are reed needs to beat the pit of 100 trials which is like the late game you know savage labyrinth type thing in this game or cave of ordeals if you like twilight princess uh but he is going to do it as early as possible and that means not beating the boss of the first chapter hooktail Actually, I'm gonna go back and save real quick because I forgot to save because I want to show off this trick. It's also frame perfect, but it's also run ending and I don't want to start over. So <laughs> we're gonna go back and save. <laughs> so there's- Just in case right, I don't get there's it. There's a, uh, a switch in the background. Uh, in this game, you can jump into the background through some pipes. And there is a switch in the background that Reed can hit to unlock a bridge that is more progression in this chapter. And instead of that, Reed is going to try to do frame perfect jumps to skip that. <laughs> and if you somehow fail it, uh, all attempts, you game over. So you gotta really be careful and time your jumps. And like I said earlier, the game roughly spits you out at the zero, zero, zero axis. And that can actually mess us up because sometimes it'll split us too far away from the ledge and we can't do the jumps. Ah, I hit the ground, so it didn't work. So it's another hazard respawn, which means Reed is frame perfectly jumping all the way from the entrance, if I'm not mistaken, to the water. Yeah, we can walk a bit, but at that point, at some point, we have to start jumping. There we go. Hey, nice. <laughs> now we got to get the hard part. And I got it. Let's go. Gonna... That's sick. That was the, yeah, that was the frame perfect jump off the water. It's pretty hard. I really wanted to show it off. So that's why I kept going back and forth. That's, it, it's, it's around 28 seconds. Is this something you can huh? mash for, or do you have to time it? You ha you can mash it, but you, it almost never <laughs> works. <laughs> so you ha timing it is better. Also, t tell us about why Professor Frankly is just hanging around. It's just it makes my heart so. Oh happy. yeah. I forget. I'm so used to <laughs> seeing here that like it's it's just normal for me. Uh, actually, when you skip prologue, when you do the HRGs in the blooper room before going to, to get Sweet Treat, frankly, actually, it stays with you because the game doesn't, like, update them to, like, go away. The, the game doesn't call them to not be a follower anymore. So he just kind of stays with you throughout the whole entire entirety of the game, really, until you get another follower. And you, in, in pre hook to it, we actually don't get another follower, so he's just here the whole time. <laughs> he's along for the ride. <laughs> I almost, <laughs> for a second there, I was like, oh, now would be a good time for donations. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> wrong week. <laughs> uh, there's actually a certain star pieces we need to collect. Or not certain, but like we need a certain amount of star pieces so we can, uh, you know, uh, buy stuff from Dazzle, which has certain badges, not in other places of the game. Yeah, Dazzle is a, uh, a merchant in this game that is near the pit in the Rogueport sewers. Uh, and she sells really rare badges for star pieces. Uh, and uh, some of them are incredibly useful, but that is kind of one of the things in this run that, you know, in the speed run is routed and optimized. But if you're attempting this challenge for yourself, you kind of have to decide how you want to spend your star pieces with uh, with Dazzle because certain ones might fit your play style better. So it's kind of an interesting individualization uh, in this particular challenge. Yeah. Speaking of routes though, I, I have two routes for this category and both of them are the fastest. Well, one of them is fastest. <laughs> they can't the both other, be but, the fastest. Yeah. For you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, did you just, did you swim around the background fastest. falling down? Why oh, yeah, did you, I did. Why did you do that? <laughs> Just wanted to. <laughs> yeah, super guarding it, guarding it, or getting hit, it doesn't lose any time, regardless of what you do, so that's why I really super guarded it. 
It, there's no punishment for either. It's very, very king. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we're good. We're gonna be losing time here, obviously, but you know, that doesn't really matter. Do you know the answers to the, uh, the quiz? Oh, Actually, gosh. I don't. Well, uh, you have to guess then. You have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Yeah, wait, we gotta think about this. Frankly, also a contestant. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, he is. He's hey, here. nice one out of four. Franklin Show. Yeah, I guessed with that one. Same with this one. Wow, you're <laughs> really quick at guessing. You should get one wrong just so that we look like it's real. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hold up. Oh, no. I got one Oh, my God. One. Reed, you're so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> How could you think it was Rogue Port? <laughs> no, Reed's okay. a very, Reed's a very smart streamer, okay? I didn't mean it. <laughs> If you were to get all of them wrong, he would make you face four clefts that are in chapter two. They're beautiful, but you know, if your first time playing, you will you would probably die. So what do we need from the Schwank Fortress? Multi bounce and that's it. We leave now. <laughs> uh I I wish. Um we actually have to do most of the story progression things in pre hooktail pit to actually get into Hooktail's castle and get some badges. I'll be doing a slightly different route, not the, you know, the, the route I do on stream. That one's just for time. I'm doing this for the sake of survivability to show off the whole run. That's what we like to hear, Marathon Safety Strands. Yeah. I mean, I'll still be doing oh, some risky stuff. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have Reed on my show but, if um, I were comfortable with no risky strats. <laughs> okay. Also, fuzzies are really... And, and so Japanese, the Japanese version of the game is actually the first version of the game. And the fuzzies in that version of the game are, are super annoying. And they just, they're actually quicker and they aggro you at random. Like, it, it, it's silly. They're, they're a bit fixed in this game, but they're just as silly almost. Fuzzies aren't really cool. <laughs> That's a hot take. That's a very <laughs> hot take. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, fuzzies and TTYD are Okay, cool. there you go. <laughs> yeah, the fuzzies in Super Mario World, they're great. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> this game is really hard. Like, there's a lot of frame perfect tricks that I almost just can't count them, honestly, but they're, they're, they can be run ending or just not fun to do, obviously, because they're one frame in a 60 FPS game. It's very hard to get down, but once you master it, it it's, you know, just, you know, just like any other speed run, it becomes easier the more you do it. Yeah, the, uh, the final boss specifically, I see somebody talking about uh, the Shadow Queen. I, I personally love the difficulty ramp up, uh, ramp up of this game casually, and one big aspect yeah. of that is the Shadow Queen is like very very hard casually, uh, and if you don't know yeah, about yeah. Vivian's leveled up moves and Bobri's Bombast, it could be rough. Yeah, it could it could be really hard. Yeah, like not having all your partners upgraded, it's actually a really hard boss. Like. Seriously. Like if you actually progress the game and just up like you're you're not evenly upgrading things, it actually is a really hard boss. There's a few people that had to like restart the whole game because of this. <laughs> like casually. Yeah, uh Danger Mario is not really a legitimate strategy for pre hooktail pit. Um, it's more like yeah. danger partner in a way. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause Reed, like he said, will uh, be using, I believe, Mega Rush P. Um, and partners in peril to do a lot of damage. 
Yeah, you don't get any da like Danger Mario badges in the early game. Only just Mega Rush P, which is back there in that fence. Everything else is like later in the game, so we can't actually do that. Yeah, Koops is the last partner that Reed is going to get. Um, yeah. There's no Flurry, yeah. because obviously that's post-Chapter 1. Um, yeah. I don't need him, though. I'm going to just leave him. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we need Koops. <laughs> now we need Koops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario just teleported. <laughs> and frankly runs right into Koops. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't do speed runs of Thousand Year Door. No, uh, I've done plenty of challenge runs, but uh, I don't currently speed run this game. No. This is Reed's territory. So if you like, if you like <laughs> Thousand Year Door speed runs, well, hey, hello, hi. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you following twitchtv slash Reed underscore QT? Uh, Reed, what else do you play <laughs> on your channel? I primarily play this and Super Mario Sunshine. Those are my two main speed games, and I would say I'm really good at them. I'm very high ranking in both of them. So yeah, if you like high leveled SMS and Paper Mario, you could follow me if you want. Not only can you, you should. <laughs> uh, Reed, how difficult would you say this particular run is for a casual player? Oh, for a casual player, I would say this is I would say it's pretty hard. I agree. Like, yeah, I guess it's not. I can it's tell not you, easy, I have because really. I'm I'm definitely more of a casual perspective for this game. Um, yeah. I you know I've watched plenty of speedruns and challenge runs of this game before, and I've beaten the game several times. But I attempted this last year. My first attempt with no knowledge was very bad. I think I made it to like floor ninety and then got walled. Um. And then my second attempt, I did make it to Bone Tail, but I can tell you it was very, very difficult to get there. So I would recommend maybe yeah. starting with some easier Thousand Year Door challenges and maybe familiarizing yourself with the game yeah. a little bit. But I do recommend giving this a try. It's fun. It's really fun. You could do... Oh, here's a, a, a step up you could do. Um, you can try to decrease the number of chapters before entering the pit. So there is also a pre-chapter two uh, pit yeah. run, and there are others I know. Yeah, yeah. You, you could do that as a smart, smart strategy. I I started with just pre-hook tail pit, but I just went we straight. Can, we can't all it. be gamers <laughs> like you, Reed. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Now we're in the hook tails castle. And my optimal route, I we do like almost none of this, but I I think I wanna go a little bit deeper into the castle. Oh no, okay. Also, this room is a troll. If you <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, we actually we're coming up on a, a cool trick called shine duping and you can get two shine sprites from one box and it's pretty cool <laughs> two shine sprites tell me more about that uh so basically you so you know how the the shine box look like um the, the shine in the actual thing is an object that you can actually grab. So if you make Koops grab that while hitting the box, you get two. It's, it's kind of strange. You have to see it in order for it to like understand it, but you can grab basically grab the shine sprite twice. And it'll count actually count towards your shine count. And how many frames is that? Do you know? Uh, it's not that tight. You can actually mash for it. Because you're supposed to press A at a like specific time to get, actually get it, but you can actually mash it, so it's not that hard. I, I don't know the specific frame count, but it's definitely not that like tight of a window to get. That shine sprite will be duping in the back. We just gotta... Get... Let me 
me. I gotta focus for a bit. And I got it. Two nice. shines, right? Let's get some hype in the chat for the streamer getting the thing. <laughs> Are you gonna go for a window jump? Uh, I think I will, yeah. I respect <laughs> Okay. Uh, right. there's the black chest. We need to grab the key for it. So, you know, in the first 40 minutes or so here, uh, this run is kind of, you know, it's a lot like any percent um, for a while. Yeah, um, really, yeah. And so obviously, Reed having a lot of experience with any percent, you would say that probably helps with the beginning parts. Um, yeah, it definitely But then after does. that, you know, the run obviously diverges when you get to the pit. Um, but Hooktail's castle here is, you know, being early game, as you might imagine, early game in a lot of speedruns, uh, platformers, JRPGs alike, you know, it's just a lot of optimizations. Yeah, a lot. I, I try to be as optimal as I can. It's just, it's just something I find enjoyment in when I when it comes to speed running as a whole. I just like being as fast as possible. <laughs> That's what speed running's all about. Yeah. So we got paper mode. Paper mode is actually a very important thing for literally every category. A little less a uh, free hooktail fit, I guess you could say. But it actually gets us to the pit as early as we can, so it's pretty important. But this this thing has a lot of thing up its sleeve. It looks it looks like it doesn't, but it, it has a lot of stuff. Like you can do this crazy like spin jump basically out of it. It's a frame perfect input, and you can actually go through like unintentional gaps because of it, and it's it's pretty cool. We don't actually do use any of that for this category specifically, sadly, but. You could check out any percent of this game. It does a lot of it, and it's pretty cool. Reed, I don't want to alarm you. Um, you know, I, I don't want to. I yeah. don't want to scare you. But you did. Uh, yeah, you yeah. did get cursed. Um, <laughs> I don't like. I don't know how you feel about that. But <laughs> I, I didn't want to have to be the one to tell I, you. I, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it either. I'm gonna be honest. Huh. I mean, I think I kind of oh. like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we won't get into that. Uh, yeah, Reed can do everything in Hooktail Castle up to fighting Hooktail. Uh, so Reed yeah. is not allowed to fight Hooktail. I mean, you could fight Hooktail if you want. You just can't beat her. Uh, and if, without beating yeah. her, there is no benefit of fighting. Yeah. Did you get attack FX for the uh, selling? Mm-hmm, yeah. Also, this is window jump coming up. I'm actually going to fail it on purpose here to show a cool backup. I did get it, but I want to show a cool backup that if you do fail it, you actually want to come into this corner. Here's another little thing cool about paper mode. You want to go into the corner, hold a very specific angle, and you actually will clip through the level. Just like that. I know you didn't. I you'll, know you didn't you just get first try window jump and then fail it on purpose. You got it again! Yeah, and I got it again just now. <laughs> and you're not even you're not even getting the star piece? Nah. Oh. Okay. We don't need the star piece. Like, I want you all to know how ridiculous that was. Uh window <laughs> jump is not free. Um that is a hard jump. And uh it skips hitting that switch and the little cutscene of the paper bridge appearing. And Reed did it twice in a row for really no reason. So that was just extra <laughs> content for the fans. It really was. <laughs> this game has a lot of cool stuff. Also, that life shroom uh, pickup. Typically, you have to walk down the top of this platform that Reed is going to be on in the other room, and then uh, paper mode for mm -hmm. great, but... Reed got it with Coops early, and obviously life shrooms, as you can imagine, are super useful for Reed Hooktail Pit. Yep. 
That's a forced encounter, it's not the Well, you could do something about it. There's there's a way actually to squeeze out of it, but it's frame perfect inputs, I think, eight times in a row. <laughs> so yeah. And it's with the pause button. Not really typical, but it's doable. Okay. We're coming to the end of Hotel Castle with this route. This room has some optimizations in it, doesn't it? Yeah, a bit. Wait, do I forget? Ah, do I get that star key? I forget. <laughs> I haven't done this right. I haven't done this route in a, such a long time. <laughs> Might as well get it. It's Why not? Strange. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. the, the optimal route you actually don't upgrade coops or get get this many star pieces. You actually just you know go as quick as you can. You only upgrade Goombella and only quench. With this route, you get item hog and quick change. Uh, Gubella is and you upgrade useful both because of multi bonk, right? Yeah. It... And you only really upgrade Coops for the sake of his damage output. When do you get Shell Shield? Is um... that first upgrade or second upgrade? Oh, uh, that's first upgrade. So Super Rank, the upcoming upgrade. Okay. So that's it for Hooktail Castle, right? Yeah, that's it. Actually, I'm gonna just grab this real quick because I think I'm missing a star piece from earlier in the game. You you typically don't get this one, but it's a backup, if anything. Better to be safe than sorry. And you didn't yeah. get the window jump one for God knows why. <laughs> <laughs> just gaming. <laughs> just gaming. Okay. And that's it for Hooktail's Castle for pre pick. Uh, you do all that and you just leave. <laughs> okay. So yeah, basically the rest of the time in between now and entering the pit is just going to be prep. Uh, Reed will be exchanging yeah. star pieces for badges, uh, using shine sprites to upgrade his partners, uh, and various other small things uh, just to prepare himself for the oncoming onslaught of enemies. <laughs> Yes, frankly, there's a lot of frankly love in the chat. Frankly will be around the best. literally the whole time. <laughs> All right, now we get Mega Rush P, the badge that is the most important. You would have it equipped the whole duration of the run. <laughs> uh, actually, we get this. Happy. Happy heart. We actually don't use it, we just sell it. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the badges we just sell because if you are low you know. on coins in your casual playthroughs, selling badges is a beautiful way to get a bunch of coins. Okay. I'm glad to get to do this game. Uh, I, I love talking about this game. It's it's really cool. And it's very, it, I would say it's almost niche when it comes to the speed running as a whole. So I'm glad it's getting some light. Of course, yeah. I I love this game probably too much. There, this is <laughs> this is probably the only game I refuse to speed run that I like this much, specifically because I want to be able to experience it casually still. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fair. But uh, yeah, this is, I really wanted to show some stuff for this game on my show only because it's awesome. And pre hook tail pit really is really is, cool. Yeah. And Reed is very good at it. <laughs> okay. Now, now we're actually just gonna start do prepping. It doesn't take too long, really. Actually, there's another cool trick coming up that I feel like everyone would love. So, and it, it's actually a three frame input with an analog stick, so I'm, I probably will miss it. If I get it first try, that's hype, really. But. I haven't practiced it in a long time, so I probably won't get it. I'm sold. But it's okay. I'm sold. <laughs> okay. Okay.
I just got frame perfect jumps up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> okay. So now, um, I'm actually gonna sh do another HRG here. Let me look at my HP before I do it. Okay. So now we need, we just need two frame perfect jumps here. There we go. And it puts Mario to the other side of the town without having to talk to Gus. Saving coins that I don't have. <laughs> uh, this lock jump is also really cool. It allows you to access these roofs early before having Yoshi. Um, and you can yeah. get a shine sprite back here as a result. Yep, yep, yep. Also, I cannot believe you just HRG'd from a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to get a lot more set pieces than I thought. This game also has a really, nah, it's not really a big issue, but this game does lag a lot in a lot of spots, and these are, this is one of the spots where it just lags a lot, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to save now, just in case I miss it. Actually, I'm going to sell my badges and save. So in the Optima route, we actually do not use Power Bounce, because it's not needed. You know, for the sake of the marathon, I'll... I'll, I'll keep it. And I'm also really good at power bouncing, so I want to show that off. <laughs> <laughs> I think my highest is 24 or 20, uh, 26. Isn't there a hard I forgot. I, I don't... Uh, for common enemies, no. But for bosses, yes. So, like, common enemies is, like, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So you can just keep going forever. Is that it? We don't need that stand. Buy this. Uh, yeah, HRG again is hazard respawn glitch. Um, it is uh, involves doing frame perfect jumps <coughs> into a hazard like water uh, or spikes, and then it takes Mario roughly to zero 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 on the map. Yep. Now I'm gonna pull, try to pull off the trick. I got it first try. Surprised. <laughs> okay, so basically, actually, I'll explain it after since I don't want to mess Is this that next part up. Just jump storage? Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. Let me do this part. Okay, there we go. I, mean, I put on cheats for this, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is a moon jump. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so what I did there is I took Koops off screen to get, a, I guess, a technique called uh, jump storage. And that basically stores Mario's Y velocity. And it stays there until you actually jump. And Mar for some reason, Mario would just fly. I don't know the, the details behind it, but... It makes Mario fly, and you know what? I love it. <laughs> that particular jump storage setup as well. Basically, jump storage can be done uh, jumping off of coops into very specific triggers, uh, like the, yeah. the Zesty contact lens trigger there. Uh, and it is not free. So that being first yeah, try it's a three frame window. is pretty cool. Yeah, three frame window with the analog stick input, so not consistent. And yeah, jump storage allows you Ultra Hammer early. Uh, that is a very fast version of Ultra Hammer early, and it's very early. Uh, that was a long <laughs> yeah. sought after trick for years in the Thousand Year Doors speedrunning community. And then the first version that was found was done with a, a flurry super slide out of the inn. Uh, yep, that one's the hardest method of all time. <laughs> it is so bad. Uh, <laughs> but now Reed can just fly. So what was even the point? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Whew. Now we're basically just going to the pit. Like, there's no more prep. Actually, it's around 40 minutes, too. Took long enough. Uh, okay. Check. I think I have the enough, the perfect amount for item haul again. 
if you want, we could take the first break as you're about to enter the pit for a little bit of suspense. Yeah. We could do that. Sure. Yeah, when I get there. So when you get into the pit room, <laughs> I'll, uh, we'll, we'll we'll throw that on. Yeah. Oh no. Uh. How many seconds is that? Five. Okay. So we're not gonna get item hog because I need five and I missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is that gonna be a problem? Not necessarily. It's just it just increases the item drop rate, which could be helpful for a marathon run. <laughs> Gamers, uh, Reed is see. improvising. I really am right now. I have two right now. Let me see. Two. We need three more. You can uh, you can hazard respawn in both blue pipe rooms to get one in West Roadport. True, and there also there is also one here. So okay, that is true. I'm actually gonna. All right, look at this insane route. Actually, I can't do that. Oh no. <laughs> okay. There, there's a star piece I did did not get in Roport, so I'm gonna. It's gonna be very slow, but I don't really mind. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Look at me. I'm, I'm trying to help. Look, look at me saying things. <laughs> There's one thing I actually would like to talk about. It's very niche, and not many players do it because it's one frame. Uh, actually, every time you open a door, you actually have one frame to jump, and you it gives it grants you all like the max speed you can get from walking. And I actually did that earlier from the b bad shop door, and it made Mario turn around, did a little cool spin. It's pretty cool. I wanted to talk about that earlier, but I forgot. Just a little cool thing. That's very cool. Uh, yeah. One thing. Also, these Goombas are very tricky. Sorry. I can go. Uh, you can, uh, if you feel comfortable with frame perfect jumps in this game and you really want spike shield, you can get spike shield for pre hook tail pit, but it is not easy. Oh, yeah. It's. <laughs> very precise compared to many things and it requires i think two frame input because you need to jump on the floor and jump on the first frame and while in paper mode mind you you need to open the chest while in paper it's it's super silly and i would never recommend it to anyone <laughs> unless you're really good at it which no one is i got the right i got the first half but then the second half was not gonna happen yeah, the first half is actually pretty, like, doable, yeah. but then after that, it's like, oh boy. Is that five star pieces? <laughs> that is four. There's the one by Darkly? So, Isn't there one back there? I think I I think I got that one already, because that's in the route, but I'll check just in case. Because I, I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't hey! get it. Hey! Wow, I'm Aren't you I'm glad shocked. I'm here, Reed? Aren't you? <laughs> I, I'm super glad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm surprised I forgot that one. Okay. We don't have to go any further now. Let's get the item hog. Alright. We're all set. We're pretty much like over, like compared to my normal runs. Uh, we're pretty much pretty pretty good for the pit, I would say. You feeling comfy? Yeah, <laughs> very comfy. Because usually I don't get the ultra hammer, and usually I I don't upgrade coops. So having coops upgraded and the ultra hammer is pretty nice. <laughs> So as we uh, get into the pit here right before the pipe, we'll take our first break of the evening. Um, an opportunity for everybody to uh, get some water, stretch their legs. Highly recommend you do that. Yep. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, people in the chat saying I don't have gamer knowledge. Clearly I have gamer knowledge, all right? <laughs> don't, don't test me, all right? 
I may or may not know all 100 star piece locations. Who's to say? <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop in front of the pipe here, take a break, pause the timer, uh, and gamers, we will see you back here in just a little bit. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Challenger Approaching here on the GDQ Hotfix. Just a few things to cover. If you have missed any of the runs from AGDQ 2021 online, like, oh gosh, I don't know, the Super Mario Bros. 35 Showcase featuring yours truly, or if you want to watch any previous Hotfix shows, you can go to youtube.com slash gamesdonequick and check out an archive of our live shows and maybe even watch me. Uh, play mario 35 anyway uh tomorrow at 7 p.m eastern that's never happened before his second episode will also be showcasing various zelda games so with that uh we're back here with reed playing paper mario the thousand year door pre-hotel pit of 100 trials reed when you're ready just let us know all right three two one go gamers let's get some hype for the pit of 100 trials this is 99 <laughs> floors of enemies and then the hundredth floor well uh, there, there's 99 floors and then bone tail <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this is okay. uh the pre-hook tail pit which means that reed will be doing this pit obviously before ever having beaten hook tail so the first chapter is not completed um and reed tell us about your badge setup uh so the badge setup as of right now is temporary but it will change later right now i have mega rush peon and multi-bounce Later, I will put on quick change. And right now, we're trying to get coops into Pearl, which is harder with upgraded coops. So this is pretty risky. I'm getting lucky because it's Goomba's RNG with who he attacks. But yeah, pretty much we just got to let coops kind of get hit here. It's riskier on uh, or with upgraded because he could just die like he is right now, but it's fine. <laughs> Oh, use my life shroom. I forgot that's a thing. It's fine. We don't need life shrooms. <laughs> so sometimes, <laughs> sometimes a strat is to let your party member die, and then when you leave battle, uh, if you pick up a recovery heart, they will be up to one health, I believe, um, which yeah. will allow them to be in peril, which is one health. Uh, and so... Um, that did not work because Reed forgot that he had a life shroom. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the optimal route, you don't have a life shroom. So I, that, that completely, like, I just forgot that existed. So that was my fault. But I, I, I only have that as a backup. I think I'm good. <laughs> it's okay, Reed. I still believe in you. <laughs> also, I cannot super guard this Gloomba anymore or he would die. So I need to start normal blocking. So yeah, obviously Reed is taking more time than you might typically on this first floor. Uh, and the reason for that is, again, because he wants to put Koops into peril. And yeah. it's tough, you know, uh, the Galoomba just wasn't... Gal Galoomba? Dark Goomba? Galoomba. Galoomba. Galoomba is something else. Very. <laughs> um, yeah, Galoomba is from Super Mario World. <laughs> um, but this, you know, the Goomba wasn't giving great luck there. Yeah. It's way, it's easier on, uh, on not upgraded coops because he only has 10 HP and the route is to block and then just let the Goomba, Goomba whale on coops. <laughs> but I had 15, I had to block twice, which I forgot about. So that was actually my fault. So there's, there's a lot of interesting, like, do you pick up hearts? Don't you pick up hearts? Uh, sometimes in this run where you have to be careful about, um, you know, your partner's HP. Yeah. There, there's you have to be you have to pay attention to your star points because that that heals your partners and you don't want because if you level up that heals your partners and you don't want that you want them to stay at one so what you do is you actually swap out before you level up i messed up and yeah okay now we're good i just gotta get hit one more time He's just hit coops. Okay. 
he actually just does he doesn't like Mario. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, that 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 took way too long. That took two separate fights. Okay. But we're set now. We're good. Um sort of not really because I don't have FP now, so that actually kind of sucks. But it's all good. Uh, so Reed's coin count actually might matter uh, because there are mm -hmm. these things in the Pit of 100 Trials called movers. And movers are random. And when you get a mover, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to pay to skip ahead, I believe, three or five floors. Something like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. so having a lot of coins can be really good because skipping ahead five is actually quite expensive. Mm hmm. Also, the Ultra Hammer is a backup for Coops if you don't have FP. It's a good substitute for early floors, but it's still good late floors, just not as good as Power Shell. Um, you all, there's also this guy called Charlie, Charlington, his full name. Uh, he, he, he has a random chance to appear on floors like the 10th, 20, 30, 40, so on and so forth floors. And the best RNG is you want him to appear on the 10th floor because he, he actually costs the least, like all of his items cost the least then. So you actually want to buy all of the Thunder Ridges, because Thunder Ridges are really good. Because later they would they would actually come in clutch. Yeah, Charlatan's uh, items become incredibly expensive in the later floors. Um, like, great, like really, really expensive. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and so you can see Reed here matter. switching to Gamela before picking up a heart, or if he's nervous, he's going to pick up a heart. Uh, because he obviously does not want to take Coops out of peril, even for a second. Yeah. Because it'd be really hard to get him back. The first, uh, the first few floors of the pit, like the tens, twenties, they they're they're a bit slow. It's like the you know first episode of a cartoon you're watching or anime. It doesn't pick you know nothing special. But then after floor twenty, it gets a little hype. Okay, I got level. Reed, why don't you uh, take this opportunity to talk about hero mode? Oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. So, <laughs> but hero mode is actually. Uh, a little thing I'm working on. Uh, and it basically makes TTYD harder. Okay, last floor. It, it, it adds a lot of new elements, and it's pretty cool. And if you want to check it out, you could check out my Twitch and the YouTube channel on there, because it has a lot of stuff relating to hero mode. Yeah, Reed is working on this it's super cool mod. Uh, for TTYD that is going to include tons of yeah. challenge differences. There's lots of like cool music and palette swaps um, And it's still in development and there's tons of new stuff being added all the time uh, And so if you want to stay up to yeah. date on TTYD hero mode definitely follow Reed at twitch.tv slash read underscore QT And also for speedruns Reed also speedruns Super Mario Sunshine yeah. and this game quite frequently uh, TTYD stands yep. for the thousand year door The demo, is the demo out now? Is that true? Yeah, it is out now. Well, there you go. Go to Reed's Twitch page uh. to learn more about it. <laughs> we actually don't pick up Sleepy Stomp here, but just for the sake of the marathon, I will. <laughs> you never know what badges could oh, be yeah. useful. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sleepy Stomp is actually really good on Poison Punch. Oh, that, I didn't think know, of that. All. Yeah. That, that's the main reason why. And and uh, the Swampires, the Swoopers. That's why you're the runner, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Reed, just triple super guarding that. <laughs> yeah, any, any opportunity to use the partner that's in peril, Reed will do so. Yeah. Especially on these early floors uh, where you can just like knock out enemies in one hit. Yeah. 
later I would have to do some routing, and that means like fast brain thinking. Fast <laughs> uh, brain with on how, yeah, fast brain thinking on how to finish the fight as fast as I can. Right now I'm just cruising. That 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 applies more, especially with the optimal route, because Coops is not upgraded. So it'd be a pretty, it'd be a bit harder. Actually, I want these coins. Uh, Reed, there's a question in the chat. Can you touch upon how optimized this category is? Uh, outside of the pit, it's pretty optimized. There is some room for improvements, but pretty much tight. This display on this stream wasn't really good, but yeah. Um, but inside the pit, there's a lot to optimize because, especially because it's RNG. So there's a lot of what if situations in the pit that hasn't happened yet. And yeah, I mean, some battles are like, you know, already optimized, but there's some later that are kind of just improv at some point. And we use Fright Mask to, oh yeah, Fright Mask. That's, I didn't even, that's the like most important item. I just super guarded that. I hate that move. Reed, that but, um... was so <laughs> sick. Super guarding that lightning attack is so hard. <laughs> I, I didn't even try to, that's okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, Fright Mask. They're actually... I actually forgot to go buy some, but it's fine. I barely use them. Uh, these things actually just make enemies go away. They have a chance to go away, and it ends battles really quickly. But you don't you don't gain any star points from them. Yeah, that's kind of the trade-off for movers and Fright Masks, is you don't get any star points, and star points are obviously good because they restore your health, your FP. Yeah. You can get more FP or more health. Um, and... Uh, you know, that's another thing. It, t for optimization in the pit, you could just get a bunch of movers, technically. Um, though that yeah. is very rare. <laughs> and the same could be said for Fright Masks. Yeah, Every enemy has a percent chance to run from a Fright Mask. And usually, the higher level the enemy, the lower percent chance that they Ooh. will drop. Or uh, run away, that is. I got a decent item from that fight. Yeah, that Thunder Rage <laughs> is nice. Or Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt. Thunder Storm, I think <laughs> that's what it's called. So just none of what I said. <laughs> oh, no, Thunderbolt, you were okay. right. I was okay. actually wrong. Whoa. Whoa, Reed. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so super guarding the breath on Bone Tail is actually pretty imperative. Yeah. Um, it's not too difficult. Uh, the timing is the same for all the breath attacks, which is nice, and there are several different types. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Reed, we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, for the sake of speed, well, obviously, you know, I would, I'd like to menu as fast as I can. Also, taking some hits don't really matter since, like, it doesn't really affect anything really so if i oh yeah speaking of hits super guarding is actually slower like speed wise is actually slower guarding is actually fat guarding or just getting hit is actually faster than super guarding so if you want to like finish a battle as fast as, I can, as fast as you can you actually don't want to super guard unless you know super guarding is important for that battle then super guarding is faster but if you can finish the battle like if you don't need if you don't need super guarding to finish, super guarding is not faster. So you want to try to never do it, but if you're going to die, obviously, you would want to super guard. Reed, I have a, a question in chat here that I'm curious of your answer. Uh, how nervous are you from a scale of 1 to 10, and how do you handle one? It? Um, I'm actually not nervous at all Let's right now. Let's go. That's what but, you um, like to hear. But when I am, I tend to either over, like, hyper-focus. Like, I just, I, like, just <laughs> become Mario. <laughs> 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 that or I talk to the audience and try to just, you know, convince myself that I'm not nervous. And, yeah. Those are my tricks. My big strat it's is deep breathing. Oh, that's the thing, breathing. Yeah, that I mean, and, and what Reed <laughs> said too, like,
commentary, even to yourself, uh, yeah. can be good. Um, and hyper focus is definitely one I use also. But Reed's just a god for not being nervous, so uh, I don't even worry about it. <laughs> it is it is kind of a thing for marathon runs. It's a little secret, you know. You know those uh, those clickbait articles that are like ten things speedrunners don't want you to know. Uh, well, here's the here's the clickbait for that. Truly, in marathon runs, you can be really, really nervous, but the second you make your first mistake, you're usually yeah. okay for the rest, unless there's like a really hard trick or something. And that's that's the strat yeah. that gamers don't want you to know. <laughs> exactly. I, this whole run was a mistake, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have. Fun. <laughs> no, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> and that, that that trick not to go off topic but that trick works for like public speaking and stuff too like allow yourself to make a mistake and then once you make a mistake just reset yourself and you'll be just fine yeah but anyway back to the video game <laughs> yeah oh yeah oh yeah i didn't get oh so i was gonna say i didn't get a charlie on the first floor but i got hey. one on 20 so that's that's decent so now I can just buy Thunder Rages without having to care too much. The first floor, he sells them for 30, which is insane. Because you can just buy a lot without even caring. You can sort of do the same here, but it's a little more pricey. I'm going to use the mushroom since actually I don't want to. You know what? This is fine. This is okay. I don't know why I have the end coupon, by the way, but that's... <laughs> can you not drop it? The... I have to get an action item to drop it, like an <laughs> item drop. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just gonna be Reed, staying there for a while. you're gonna need the in coupon in the middle of the pit. Yeah, just gotta take a rest real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the other trick speedrunners don't want you to know. Play the game for a thousand hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, yeah, Reed picked up Fire Drive in that chest on floor 20, and Fire Drive is like low-key super good for the pit. Um, I don't know how much yeah. Reed will actually use it in this run, but casually, it's a very good strat. Uh, you actually use it, you basically spam Fire Drive for the okay, pit, especially without Ultra Hammer. It's sick. Yeah. Uh, I will be using less compared to people who don't get Ultra Hammer, but, you know, I still use it just as much. Yeah, when you get to the Bone Tail fight, you just fall asleep on him for the end, because... <laughs> The end coupon allows that. <laughs> it's actually, it's a secret strat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Lakitu. Okay, this is where we're getting to the... Please don't give me the worst formation. And he didn't. So every enemy has three formations they can give you. I think a little more, maybe. But right now, they, ha they, ha they can give you three formations. Lakitu can give you what he just gave me just now. A Lakitu, Bob bombs and another Lakitu. Or you can just have four Lakitus, which sounds like fun, right? <laughs> so the, the worst RNG in that group is having the four Lakitus. And it's just because Lakitus can just stall you out as much as they want if they so choose to. So having four of them there, potentially doing that is not fun. Yeah, they can uh, spawn spinies, and spinies yeah. are awful. Um... Yes. But the, the whole enemies can come in different patterns thing is actually pretty integral, especially for a more casual playthrough of this challenge run. Um, because yeah. when you get to later floors, like for example, the 90s to 100s, um, you can get Amazy Daisies, uh, which can give you massive level boosts. Or, you know, there are also floors where, you know, for example, one of the elite wizard floors, you can get like three elite wizards or you can get five. And five is a lot harder than three. Yes. <laughs> you really don't want that amount of elite wizards, but it, it, it commonly happens. So you, you got to expect it, but you got You also want to pray and hope you don't get it. I recommend for anybody who's watching this that wants to try this challenge on their own, which you definitely should. It's hard, but you should give it a go. Uh, online, there are resources for not only enemy Fright Mask running percentages, but also the percentages for every enemy pattern on each floor. The only thing is, the pattern doesn't change if you run away and re-enter the fight. Uh, it's the same every time. Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> 
I believe. If that was an actual thing, I think this, this category would be much more forgiving. Yeah. I would say. Get yeah. a tough pattern run away. Okay. Yeah. Also, speaking of optimizations, there's some enemies that you actually don't want to super guard. So, for example, or not super guard, um, first strike. So, flying, I mean, fly, flying enemies, you typically want to first strike them since, you know, when, like, the battle actually starts, you can't hit them anymore with coops. So, first striking them with coops is actually pretty good. But if it's, like, a grounded enemy and you can kill them with a simple power shell, you don't want to uh, first, uh, first strike them. So that's why a majority of the enemies, I just run into them because it'd be, it's slower to first strike. Oh boy, I think I have to level up with this. You could Fright Mass. I could, but I don't want to waste it on bob -ons. Yeah, and the percentage is kind of low, that's... I think. Yeah. So I don't want to... Yeah, so Reed's kind of making you know, I, it's a fine. conscious decision about whether or not he wanted to get the level up there with Coops out. Um, but ultimately, it seems hmm. it's probably best. You can get rid of the in coupon. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> but Reed, that was your one-way ticket to beating Bonetail. Oh my... I didn't even think he about that. He threw it, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, later floors... Or not later floors, but mid floors. So like 40... 50, 60. It, it actually is a bit easier to get coops into Pearl. Just a tiny bit. Compared to first and later floors, since earlier floors, they basically do no damage. And, um... What is this? This game does not like me. <laughs> okay, we gotta kill this fuzzy. Ice Storm is a really tough uh, item to get used on you. Yeah. Because Freeze is basically guaranteed. Yeah, the pink fuzzies there, they take FP instead of HP, which is obviously yeah. unfortunate. Okay. I let the fuzzy take FP for the sake of just <laughs> getting coops. That time I didn't though, so I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> It'll all be fine. Hey, can you super guard that move? I'm gonna try. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Or the lightning move? I don't know. The FP sucking move, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're dead. Th this, was this was mostly because I, I leveled up with Koops, but it's fine. It didn't take as long as the Gloomba fight earlier. <laughs> We're set back up. Yeah. Okay, I don't even have item hog on. This is why we don't get item hog, by the way. Wait, but you did um, get item, item hog, hog, I thought. I did, but it's not equipped. And it's one of the reasons why... Um, yeah, it's not on. It's one of the reasons why um, we actually don't get item hog in the optimal route, because it almost makes no difference. <laughs> I mean, it makes a difference, but it's, it's just still random, and it barely boosts your percentage of getting an item, so... So I, item hog is not that good when it comes to actually being optimal in this category. So actually, my my item setup is really good, by the way, really really good. Nice. What what are so the, the items that it you're doesn't looking for? Thunder rages, ice storms, and that's about it, really. Like, you, Ice Storms and Thunder Rages are really good, but Thunder Rages are, for pre-pit, Thunder Rages are the, the item you want the most. Because it hits everyone and just goes through defense. I did not mean to do that. Mm. So, Reed mismenued there for a moment uh, and wound up yeah. using... 
a Mario multi bounce instead of Power Shell. And so Reed made a conscious decision to use Shell Toss instead of Power Shell just to conserve FP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, FP is very important, and that's why I've been only upgrading that to not, nothing else. I will, there is a route for upgrading, and I'm using the optimal upgrade route, you could say. And yeah. So basically, you never upgrade FP or HP. <laughs> because, I don't know, typically Mario just never really has. I mean, eventually, but that's like 80s or something. Yeah, Danger Mario, uh, I see some people talking about Danger Mario in the chat. Uh, Reed will not be using Danger Mario, as you cannot get the Mega Rush or Power Rush badges um, until, like, post-chapter two, I want to say. Um, uh, yeah. And yeah. so... Uh, or actually, after, after chapter one. Yeah, post-chapter two, yeah, you're right. Yeah, post-chapter two. Uh, or pre-chapter pre two. Pre-chapter two, right? I, I, not I don't know. Myself. You need the Pianta Parlor, don't you? For, for Power Rush? Yeah. You you can the earliest you can go there is chapter two after chapter and one. And then there's the Charlieton Mega Rush. Yeah, and he is there after chapter one. Yeah. Um, but other than that, uh, Reed is using you could call them danger partner strats, I guess, or peril partner. Uh, so he has yeah. Mega Rush P, which uh, increases the attack of your partner by five when they're in peril. Yeah. So at level, actually, no, yeah, since I have everything, like, basically upgraded, at level 10, like, exactly on level 10, you want to upgrade BP. Because <clears throat> that's, you know, well, you don't have to. You can pick any route, really, but typically in pre-pit runs, you want to upgrade FP as much as you can because that's the only way you can do, like, hard-hitting moves on everyone with coops. So upgrade, uh, FP is actually objectively important compared to the other stuff. Repeat it. What are the floors when you start to get a little antsy? 70 and up. Okay. A little less 70, but yeah. That's when like Koopa Patrols and Dark Cross are coming in and Piranha Plants. I'm like, ooh. I don't know if I can do this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not, well, for, like, my personal runs, mostly because of PB pace and world record. Because I can get world record in this category. So it, it, the nerves hit much more than, like, normally. Right. Because I don't want to throw the run. I mean, I probably would feel, feel the same way since I don't want to die in this marathon. So <laughs> I want to show, show as much of it as I can. Also, I have no mover yet. No, no movers so far. Yeah, they. I don't want to say unlikely to happen, but you you could go the whole pit without seeing a mover. What's the percent chance of getting one? Do you know on any given floor? I actually forgot. For every floor, it's the same percentage, but I actually forgot the percentage. Uh, I think it might be online somewhere, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. Reads around floor thirty or so at the moment, I think. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because floor 40 is actually the worst floor out of the whole pit, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, because of spike tops. They are the worst enemies. Of all time. Well, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> I'm act I actually get nervous around there, too, because you could easily die to them. But not, not as nervous as, like, later. You also want to hope you get a mover on floor 40 <laughs> to skip all of the spike tops. I'll look it up. It, it actually is the same percentage for each floor. It does not get rare. But I just forgot the percentage. And the goal of this category is to get to the 
end of the pit of why did I get this badge? The end of the pit of the pit of trials before beating Hooktail. Hooktail. This is before Hooktail. So it's ten coins to move down two floors and thirty coins to move down five floors. Uh, yeah. I'm not finding the percentage readily available. Well, the Game Facts forum really doesn't have it. I can tell you that. The answer, <laughs> the answer on the Game Facts forum from like 2005 says it's random. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't wrong. <laughs> So Reed is again going to swap to Goombella here to avoid a level up for Koops. Yeah. When I first initially went to the fight, I messed up what I was supposed to do. So I had to kind of run away. So I wasn't sure if they are going to die from a shell boss. What level am I? Seven. I'll check. Just in case. Typically, I don't check. I like mentally know what level. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Seven. So is this the scary floor coming up? Uh. Yeah, this is. We're on, we're currently on like the floors that are scary. Spike tops. They they have a really bad prey chance rate to run away, and they all you also literally can't hit them without items. But I do have items, but you want to save those items later like for elite wizards or koopa trolls Mo mostly for elite wizards but yeah like using items or attack items on spike tops or it is just not a good feeling but uh yeah when i get deeper into the pit you actually want to reverse the roles of koops and goombella you want goombella to be at one hp and koops to be healthy but that, that's like around floor 70 or 80 rather more, more likely 80 because to beat Bone to actually, you need Goombella to be at Pearl and Koops to be the tank. Yeah, because Koops is really good for hitting multiple enemies on the ground. But once you get to Bone Tail, yeah. uh, that's only one enemy. And so his use is a lot less. And it becomes more pivotal to have multi bound or multi bonk, um, which is Goombella's power jump, basically. Yeah, multi bonk. Yeah. I I always hated that it's called multi bonk, but it does the same thing as power bounce. <laughs> yeah, and multi. Yeah, it's yeah, it's kind of weird now I think about it. Okay. Okay, that was bad on my part. We can actually nah. Four. Three. Three. I'm actually gonna run away because I don't want to use items and I also don't want to risk dying right now. Yeah, you have plenty of FP. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we actually need to beat them down one by one because level up. This is actually the worst fight to level up on. All right, so that guy is gonna use an item. I'm gonna keep Coops out. Yeah, he's gonna use an item. And I need to super guard. I'm just gonna do super guard timing for poops. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna do this because I don't I don't wanna deal with this guy anymore. <laughs> Also, Pokies always run away. Unless Poison Pokies a bit different, but... Uh, yeah. Some enemies just have, like, 100% chance to run. Reed, you, you scared me a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I was messing up the Super Guard, because, like, it's obvious on who it hits when you have Gabella and Mario, but I was just still messing it up, and I'm like, oh, boy. 
Okay, this is also bad because if I get four spike tops, and look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just not gonna do this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This 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 is why floor forty is actually the worst floor. It it can get to you. I believe Reed. Okay. I believe chat chat room. <laughs> do you believe in Reed? <laughs> okay. Right. We should be good though. Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to explain something about Koops and his ability, his shell toss ability. Yeah. Lots of people believe in you, Reed. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, you can actually get, not extra height, like, compared to a normal jump, but you can actually get some height difference from when you shell toss on the field. So, let's say, this is the normal shell toss uh, height when you get when you press X. Like, it's that small of a jump. But if you actually press X and then A, Mario would jump a little higher compared to the small one. And I actually use that to jump on the Dark Koopa, just because why not? That's why I shell toss there. <laughs> just a little fun fact, because most people actually don't know that you can actually do that with Koops. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> mm, not a bad fight, just... You could just super guard five times. <laughs> yeah. But they they attack they can attack the front and back, so it's a little hard a little hard. <laughs> so sometimes I press it like really early. Or really late rather, because of Mario. What if I told you I got nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> I would believe you. I would I would believe you. <laughs> That's the reason why my timing's a bit off right now. I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Again, I'd like to remind everyone that this is a genuinely difficult challenge, and Reed is confident and has been like, ah, it's easy, it'll be fine. But this is a very yeah. hard uh, run with a lot of luck involved. So enemy patterns are like such a variability. And this is what I, that's actually one of the reasons why I don't upgrade Coops, because if I didn't have upgrade Coops, I can actually get away with this fight without leveling up. Uh, Cause Coops does less damage. He wouldn't kill the, he would kill the embers and the, the bobble, but he wouldn't kill the poison pokey. But since I'm leveled up and if I do a failed command here, it's just going to kill all of them. Oh wait, the point, oh, the point, oh, I'm happy. Let's go. Okay, I, I I thought wrong. Okay, the poison pokey for leveled for level and leveled up or non-level and leveled up coops are the same. If you fail it, they don't die. Okay, noted. I haven't done this round like so long, so my memory is much. File more. it away in the, in the brain. <laughs> okay, this is level nine, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a different route for leveling up. I'm gonna do HP next. Typically, I would do that way later, like way later, but since I'm being a little weird, right, I'm gonna do it in the next one. Okay, that's fine.
Also, notice that we actually don't have an audience like we would normally have. That's because I skipped Sweet Treat, so the audience never comes. <laughs> like, ever. You also don't get any star points, or, uh, uh like, yeah. star power from doing stylish combos. Item drop. You get nothing. So that was the 50th floor. So the strange sack uh, is what you get on floor 50, like we just did. And it is super yeah. cool. It increases your item inventory. Uh, yeah, it does. You actually, you actually don't need it <laughs> for any route. Well, sort of, because like you're typically gonna use. Because when you start the pit, you're gonna use a lot of fright mask, or or not a lot, but you wanna use at least two. If you have full my fright mask inventory, you wanna use at least two, so you can buy at least two thunder rages later on. And at this, oh no, I got a hard drop on oh. top of me. But um, yeah, that that actually is bad because now Coops cannot get back into Pearl from these enemy stats. But I actually have to improvise really hard right now. Okay. Could kill Coops and hope I get a heart drop, which is a thing that does happen, but ugh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I wanted him to hit Coops. Okay. Actually, I could have gotten Coops into Pro right there. They did three damage, and I could. Ah, oh, dang. That's fine. Hindsight's twenty twenty. It's all good. <laughs> All right. Let's just hope I get a hard drop, which I should, right? Dang. <laughs> uh, it's a little rough. It's fine. But the cool thing is, Coops, you can first strike with him, and he's technically Pearl is activated from one HP and down, so I can actually start the fight with, you know, attacking Coops, and then you know. Hitting most of them, but I actually hold up. This is the scary fight. I did not know that. I didn't know that Peril was at zero as well. Yeah. <laughs> so Reed is improvising new badge setup here. Uh, so quick change is super useful. He's gonna use the uh, shell toss with Coop's first strike and then switch to Goombella right away using quick change. So basically, Reed is thinking, okay. What is a badge setup that is going to help me win this fight, even though I no longer have use of coops? So Reed is drawing out the Ultra Shroom, I believe? Mm hmm Because if you hit an enemy, they're guaranteed to use it. So I was just baiting that out, basically. really close to dying there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh, <laughs> if I could if I could get the super shroom drop, that'd be cool. And a hard drop too. Okay, I got a hard drop, not the super shroom. Oops. Alright. This is okay. Not the best situation, but Coops is back. Also this okay, this fight is fine. Chain jobs are typically easy to beat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Woo! We're good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I also no actually. I'm over here smart as that one HP. Wedding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, we're good. Alright! No stress. <laughs> no stress here. <laughs> <laughs> Just a perfect level up, no big deal. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna actually upgrade F uh, HP. I think this is a different stage now. Unless I'm one behind. Okay, yeah, farther. Different stage now. We get the, the blue stage. 
or the yeah the... but that yeah this book oh, okay. um so this is actually bad. oh that's it's right i forgot that this yeah, is bad this is actually bad you actually can get fog now which is an rng thing that can happen and it can make you miss same with the enemies but it typically hinders us more since we the enemies since we have basically the route down like we know how to kill the enemies it's just the fog holding us back and i'm just yeah i'm gonna do this this is less fp actually i'm gonna just do that yeah that's perfect nice Hey, take a deep breath, friend. Take 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 a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. If we okay, I'm gonna put item hog on actually. So actually the way so the way item drops actually work are very unique in TT Buddy actually. It the it the the item drop actually matters depending on where it is on the stage itself. So if like the item is like the furthest back from the first enemy, it actually has a lower chance to drop. So it's actually pretty cool how they did that. Really? It sucks because you know it's not guaranteed we get it, but item hogs help helps with that a this bit. This game has so much secret knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cool. I hope I get it. Please give me that Thunder Ridge. That would make me so happy. Ah oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so I put power bonds on just in case I messed up somehow. Whoa, I'm messing up my menu. Okay. Oh, this is an RNG fight. Okay, that that's good. Oh, that is good. That is, you want, yeah, you want all of them to fall down, but if, you know, it's fine if, you know, one of them don't. Oh, I don't have. Yeah, it's fine. He's probably gonna charge. Yeah, puffs also work kind of weird because they they I think when I, I'm not sure if this in, in, includes for all puffs, like or or this is the same for all puffs. But I think when they're alone, they're likely to charge. I think. Don't quote me on that, but it typically happens when they're alone. No, needed to. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Scoop said I forgot. No, no. I forgot. Man, <sighs> Frankly has full HP right now. <laughs> I wish we could use Frankly. God. <laughs> He's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> so strong that he doesn't even appear in the battle. <laughs> okay. Is this gonna kind of level up? I can't tell. Let me see. Oh, fog. Okay. No, I can't. Well, I, if I hit this, the chain chomp's dead, but. Okay, I got it. But what sucks about fog is if you use an FP move and miss, it will actually still remove like the FP. So it kind of sucks. But it's not like, oh, the fog made you miss. Well, we'll give you your FP back. Fully. Oh, okay. Easy fight. This fight is actually a little bit more complex on the uh, Optima route. I think it takes three turns max to actually beat them if you're not going to level up. <laughs> but if you're going to level up on them, it's a bit harder. Piercing blow goes through defense, right? Yeah. So if you're going to use Ultra Hammer, I mean, if you're not going to get Ultra Hammer, I'd, I'd say Piercing Blow is really decent overall. You get it no matter what. But for if you're getting Ultra Hammer, you should really get it. Because it kills like clefts in one hit, and clefts take a really long time to beat, even with coots being up roll. 
And a mover. First mover. Hey. So let's go. All right. Get to skip five floors for free. Well, it's 30 coins. Yeah. But... Well, let's... <laughs> for basically yeah. for free. Ah. Dang. I was hoping I can get another one. That was the first mover. He allows you to skip five floors, five to two floors for a price. Okay. I'm gonna play risky because why not? A bit faster. Oh, he, he's being nice. 13. I have like all the HP and st like stats of all enemies like internalized. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. I think I've. Yeah, I have piercing blow, so they're not really a threat. Just time wasting because he has the. So we actually cannot hit him unless I use an item, which I don't want to use. Okay. Okay. This fight's over. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Is super guarding, does that prevent the spinies from becoming enemies, or is like, that just... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen blocking do that too, but I'm not 100% certain. Because I know if you, like, fail the action command, it, they come on stage. But I'm not 100% sure for blocking. So, like, technically, you could farm EXP that way. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but <laughs> you shouldn't. It's, yeah. Also, yeah. One, because you get hit. Reed is, I slower. think, looking for a favorable pattern here. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Okay. I was just going for a high score at that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how power bonds uh, applies for Gumbella too. Is that... Uh, you start from eight frames on the first jump, and then it'll, it would every jump slowly removes a frame, so it goes from eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and yeah. So I was doing frame perfect jumps on that power bonds just now. I think I'm going to do this. I don't know. I don't want to. This is actually bad right now because I can't hit either of them. <laughs> I could do this actually with Gabella and just slowly pick at him, but not really anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these dark Lakitus are really unfortunate. Yeah. You, uh, when you get the pattern I got, you typically want to use a fright mask, but I actually forgot to buy extra fight mask, so I'm compensating by just not using it. <laughs> I am more so doing this for just survivability later. It's more like a higher chance to actually get to Bone Tail without having to do risky strats. Wow. This is crazy. Actually, oh, she would have been at Perfect Pearl. Oh, now when he doesn't have the zap, he puts one up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Stop doing that. I, I forgot if I power bounced him earlier. It's been so long because he just kept putting them up. So earlier Reed was talking about power bounces, um, and uh, the frame perfect cap does not work the same on boss fights. I think we touched on that a little bit earlier. Yeah, uh, but boss fights you cannot just frame perfectly bounce a million times. Yeah, they have a cap. I think Bone Tail's cap is five? I could be wrong. 
that's five frame perfect ones. You can get, I think, like 13 total. Uh, I don't know, actually. You can, just because of, also, by the way, just because the cap is five, it doesn't necessarily stop at five. You can keep, you can keep going, but it's random. Like, you can go up to way more jumps, but it's just completely lucky if you do. <laughs> Yeah, later in the run, you actually uh, swap the roles of your partners. You want Goombella to be at Pearl while Koops is healthy. So Reed is grabbing extra coins. Like, even if he got a mover every time, you know, he would have plenty of money. But the money is for Charlieton. Um, yeah. in the event that he wants to buy some enemies later. Or some yeah. items, pardon me. Thun yeah. Uh, Thunder Rages are really good. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, there we go. Just in case. Ooh. Okay. So these are wizards. Um, dark wizards. Yeah. Uh, there are several variations of wizards that we'll see in the pit, including one variation that you only see in the pit. Yeah. Uh, and they are very, very tumultuous enemies. Scary. Oh yeah, that's a trick jump. I've gone like, like, I think I've gone to like floor 80 without using click change. So I'm like actually used to not having it. So when I do have it on, I'm like, oh yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> it's kind of insane how I like gotten you because quick change like you would think quick change is so good, you always want it on. But I'm actually I actually am actually do the opposite. I actually almost never have it on for some reason. <laughs> you know, it saves a lot of time. So how you feeling now? How you feeling now that we've sort of gotten out of the woodworks a little bit? Uh, more balanced now. Like, you know, floor 40 really gets you on edge if it plays with you. <laughs> but I, I feel a little bit better. Good. Uh, this floor is actually isn't too hard. Oh, Charlie. Plus I got a mover, so that helps. <laughs> oh yeah. Is this 60 or 70? I have to, let me check. Let me buy these first. I think it's 70. Yeah, probably. I'll check. It is 70, yes. I'll fly fire with flower. Could probably do our second break maybe at floor 80. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Unless you want to do it now, it's up to you. Let's do 80. I already went through the, the pipe. Let's do 80. <laughs> yeah, let's do 80, why not? So this is the, uh, this is okay. the next wizard variation. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're just scary. I don't, I don't know what else to say. They have multiple attacks. They can oh. shoot laser beams. Uh, this is actually a, a scary combo with the shooting star. Yeah. Uh, they can shoot laser beams. They can multiply. They can go invisible. Lots of nonsense. Yeah. Oh, he didn't use the shooting star. Uh, that move is so unpredictable. I might have to go like hyper focus mode for a bit sure. on this floor. <laughs> if you wanna, if you want some serious time, I'm happy to be quiet. No, you can talk. I don't mind. I, I just can't talk because I distract myself. Sure. I can. I can handle the comms. So uh, <laughs> this is definitely a scary fight, but Reed has handled it very nicely. Shooting star is kind of tough to get. You cannot guard. Yeah, you have to eat it. Uh, you can't guard against item attacks. The burn, luckily, took him out, though. Um, yeah. Probably the next... The, the one consolation about these later floors is that you will uh, get 
level ups really frequently. And so, you know, if you're a little scared about a certain floor, you know, you may level up on the next one. Part mass also works good on... Oh, this is fine. Okay, I can do this. Do they have 25 HP? Yeah. I don't know how I pulled that number out, but... <laughs> nice. Do I have healing? Because I don't have the mode. I don't have healing, so this is actually kind of scary. Mario's not dead, so it's fine. And even if Gundela's dead, he's basically dead. Yeah, okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, make sure to send your power and energy to Reed. And while you're at it, gosh darn it, why don't you just follow his Twitch channel? Um, but yeah, Reed is putting on such a show for us. Again, I cannot overstate oh. how... Oh, that is so good. Uh, Bushi, oh my. super good. I cannot overstate how difficult this run is. Uh, this is such a difficult challenge run, and Reed is putting on a real show for us, so uh, please send him your support. Okay. Oh, this fight's fine. Oh, we love this. We love, yeah. we love <laughs> to see the, the quintuplet... Uh, fire individuals. <laughs> Luckily, with Ultra Hammer, it actually is very easy. With no Ultra Hammer, this would be very scary. No Coos or Ultra Hammer, scary fight. This scary, probably one of the scariest fights. I've had a lot of runs die when I first started doing Creep It here because I had never had Ultra Hammer because it was too hard to do. And Coops would probably die on me. So that fight is actually really scary it's, very underprepared it's also uh kind of nice actually because you get 60 that particular pattern instead of like you know three yeah. of them you get 60 star pieces yeah or, uh, if, star if you manage to beat it yeah if you manage to beat it you're rewarded heavily but oh boy scary uh, That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hazards can fall and they can help the enemy. Oh, I was like, wait, how is he hitting me right now? Because he also has Zap. Oh, I didn't even know that that was an exchange. Yeah. They made sure to... I mean, that, mean, that, that means also I can jump on him. <laughs> it's, I don't have power it's very interesting. Yeah. I did not know that you could jump on a shocked enemy if you have Zap Tap on. That is great. Uh, please go away. Okay, one more. I'm timing this. This is a tough super guard time, though. Yeah. They don't have- they only have 9 HP, so that's a good part. <laughs> Later ones have, oh boy, a lot. Okay, next level up would be H or it will be HP. And reminder that we'll we'll stop for a bit on floor eighty. Yeah, yeah. It, okay, no, I'm putting on item hog for this. That item is very important. Power punch for like bon bone tail later. Cause that finished the fights in like three turns, I forgot. I have a route for bone tail, but I don't have my notes up. But that finishes bone tail very quickly if you have a power punch. 
Yeah, so uh, Power Punch, oh. when you use on yourself or your partner, increases their attack by 3, 5. Very uh, good. For a few turns, which is very good. Yeah. And it's in the front row, so I'm more likely to get it with Item Mod on the first enemy, so that's actually pretty good. And he wanted to make sure but, he you know, would I can kill that uh, Chain Chomp first, so that it would use the item. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Uh, so just to reiterate, some people in the chat are asking oh, about what the challenge is. First of all, let's hope we get the item. Oh, yes. Nice. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Strange sack actually okay. good right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's surprising um, to me. So uh, this is pre-hook tail pit of 100 trials. So basically Reed is challenging the pit of 100 trials right now before ever having gone to hook tail. So Reed never beat the first chapter of the game and is yet challenging the most difficult thing in the game. So uh, there's no other rules besides that. Yeah. Except you must be a god gamer. <laughs> Also, why did that do no damage? Because they actually have an extra move with their laser attack. It's it's a confusion move. Oh, and it just didn't. Uh, it does no damage. Yeah, it, it it has like a barely has a chance to activate. But if it does, use it. that's that's actually a separate move from their other laser attack. It's kind of weird. Interesting. And confusion is yeah. very bad. Yes, very bad. It, it can be very bad. Just like in Pokemon, it can cause your partner to attack mario yeah <laughs> yeah and you don't want that or vice versa the timer starts at file select at the start of the game and ends when you defeat bone tail or does it end when you pick up return yeah. postage you, yeah it ends when you open the chest the frame you get return postage uh, he's gonna use a super stream that actually kind of sucks That's, that's whatever. Uh... Yeah, so... Cool thing about Koopa Trills... Go ahead. They actually... Their... Fright Mask actually works... Not the best, but works pretty well on them. So if I ever feel like... Threatened, I can use that as a... Option. Uh, somebody's asking about... Why the old Goomba is with you. <laughs> <laughs> um... Um... Because I actually... I did HRG earlier, that actually, it's a, it's called the Hazard Read Spawn Glitch. And it makes, it, you skip the Sweet Treat sequence. So you get the key, frankly, because it never updated. Oh, so this is actually pretty scary, yeah. hold up. I might use the boost sheet as safety, because the boost sheet, you can really use it anywhere if you like, but I think now is a good time, just, just for safety. Because the fog is here, and I'm not... Their attacks are annoying in fog, so I think I'm going to use the blue sheet. And Goomba is not really important in this fight anyway, so if she dies, it doesn't... It doesn't matter. We just need the important character to not die. No, that killed. If I can level up. I think that leveled up. Mm, no, you're... Game yeah. Game. No leveled up. Uh, It's fine. Especially with Koopa Trolls, it's a bit fine. They just gotta not do their power shell attack. And you should be good, really. Alright. That might be one of the... Oh! Okay. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I forgot how much damage they do, actually. I think five. I know this because Palace Scoop <laughs> and Palace scares me. <laughs> okay. Um...
Very nice. Okay, perfect. Just gotta super guard the last dude. All right, good. The burn helped me get into Pearl. Reed, I've had like 40 heart attacks during this. <laughs> You're like, all right, I just need to get this one frame perfect trick and it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, dried shrooms. Like, okay. Dried shrooms are actually so <laughs> good for pre hook tail pit yeah. because if you get your partner killed, you can give them a dried shroom and they'll go up into peril. Yeah. Actually, really good. Like, low key, a very good enemy drop. Yeah. Very common, too. So. <laughs> oh, what's. Is this. They only have nine, so it's not that bad. Just. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'd run for a better... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't have enough. I don't need items. Actually... Okay. Mm, smart. I'm gonna kill the first one with a super guard since it only has 9 HP. If I can land it, I'm gonna kill the one in the back first. Actually, attack Goombella Goombella would have been in Pearl. That would have been nice. Dizzy dials are a little scary. Yeah. Because you can just constantly miss. Yep. Just like that. I <laughs> super guarded him, you know, I had to zap on. <laughs> Alright, Pearl. Fine, the fight's not over, just... Uh, well, I, when I can't die, so that's cool. I have Zap on. Oh yeah, you literally can't get hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is over. <laughs> hope for a heart drop here or he can use the dry shroom of course uh to yeah. hope to get goombella into peril or to get goombella into peril yeah heart drop would be better dang it <laughs> i shouldn't have said anything <laughs> <laughs> uh that's fine it's not the end of the world both of them being in pearl is over oh yep Okay, we're here. <laughs> All right, well, uh, gamers, we're actually going to take another quick break here. So get up, stretch your legs, get a drink of water, uh, and we will be back with more read, more Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door pre hook tail pit of 100 trials, and more Challenger approaching right after this. Enjoy the break. Bye. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Challenger Approaching, the show where we show off challenge runs and the runners who perform them. Just a few quick plugs. If you are watching on YouTube and would like to support our live content, please consider checking out our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash gdq. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to any Twitch channel of your choice for every month for free. Please consider using your Prime Gaming account to subscribe to the GDQ Twitch channel. And with that, Reed, if you want to give us a countdown when you're ready, uh, go ahead. Sure, okay. 
Three, two, one, go. So this is okay. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door pre-hooktail pit of 100 trials. Read the people love you. Uh, and the, uh, the, the, the idea behind this run is that Reed is attempting to beat the pit of 100 trials, the hardest challenge in the game, before ever beating hooktail. And so far we've had a few scares, but Reed has been playing masterfully, doing backup strats masterfully. We've been loving it, so keep it up. <sighs> oh man, this fight is not <laughs> it. Um, I have items, so it's not the end of the world. Just, if I miss super guard, <laughs> kinda sucks, but it's okay. Oh wait, Goombella's dead. Okay, okay, I forgot about that. No, that's what we're not doing. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna use the Super Shroom since I don't need to use a uh, Dry Shroom on her right now. And we're gonna re-enter the fight. Actually... Oh. I'm gonna actually run again to Super Hammer this Spanya because... Spanya. Because it would hit the other enemies behind them, and that's more damage. Come on. There we go. Nice. That is not free. <laughs> oh, there's actually like a little trick with it you can do. Super hammer. I'll show it after this fight. Once again, not many people know. So that'd be cool. Hold up. Alright. Uh. Nice. So these, uh, these piranha, or actually go ahead and explain the thing you were going to explain first. Actually, you can go ahead. I'm okay. Uh, the, these piranha plants, uh, in the normal color you would typically see are the highest level piranha plant in the game and only exist in the pit, I believe. Yeah. Exactly. Also, the, so the cool thing about Ultra Hammer, or just the spin attack, is that if you make, let me just do this, if you make Mario do this little pose and then just let go of B anytime, you can actually jump and like store the spin. So I can like jump, land, and he'll spin automatically. So something like this, like that. Oh, cool. I, I don't know why doing that makes him like store it, but it does. So you can actually like do that for enemies if they're just gonna aggro you and attack you. Attack you. So we're- That's why when I leave- Yeah, go ahead. No, Sorry. no, no, you're good. You can... When I leave some pipes, I make Mario do that. And then I'll like run away and then just make him spin automatically. Uh, All right, you sure. can go now. <laughs> uh, so Reed is on floor just to give everyone an update. I think this is 82 or 83. Um, oh, that's interesting. Hey, they're all on the ground though. Yeah. Considering and actually not wanting to do this fight, uh, let me think. Actually, no, there's worse fights, so I'm not going to use the fight mask here. This fight, this fight is Koops friendly, so I'm actually not going to use it. Oops. Oh my. <laughs> man, this man is slippery. He just walked into it. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him a compliment and he threw it right back at you. <laughs> man, they're giving you the okay. lowest one. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, fun fact about them: when there's an odd number of them, they actually go the same direction. Oh, really? Yeah. I think they have twenty health. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. But I'm, I'm missing my super guards. Uh. one might put you in peril uh i think their attack is actually when they do the little multi-spit their attack is actually uh four but the when they shoot just one is seven okay. 
So if I did defend, Gumbella would have died. Basically. Well, good job on the super guard then. <laughs> Thank you. Um... No problem, Monado. Okay. Um, I might fright mask this. This is, this is looking like a fright mask. What? Actually, I lied. Actually, I kind of lied like, twice. <laughs> I might fright mask. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Nah, 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 nah. I got this. Hold up. I lied. This game does not. <laughs> you can actually, you, you could actually manipulate fog though if you run away, but it's obviously slow. In a personal attempt, I would not run. I would just try. But yeah. Proceeds to get nine jumps. <laughs> uh, power bouncing is fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I sometimes do this on PB runs, though. Like, <laughs> if I'm just, like, on a roll, I'm like, why not? Why not? <laughs> exactly. Okay. I might, I think I'm going to have... The, the bad part about this is I'm going to have to... Well, let me see the formation first. Because I, I have to use the dry stream on Goombella. If I want this to be consistent. Ah, ah, I lied. My my gut is telling me to play safe though. Let me see if this piranha plant dies. Then I'll judge. Okay, he dies. Oh. Mario is. Mario is that death range or both of them more so the piranha plant um okay we're gonna approach this differently because <laughs> this will actually kill the actually no I'm just used to try oh I used to the Mario <gasps> I'm crying <laughs> <laughs> It's still fine though. It's still fine. Mario's not a death range. You gotta look at the positives. He cannot die unless I miss one super guard. At least one. So that's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. The bristle should die from a power shell, so the front piranha plant and Mario should kill them with an ultra hammer attack not the piranha plant the second one but the bristle should be dead yeah okay I'm crying <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right level up with coots but that's fine at this point in time sort of this floor you still want coots but it's you can get away with it especially if you get a mover so yeah, I'm gonna upgrade BP. That's the last time I'm gonna upgrade BP. 21 and more is kind of unnecessary. Wait, oh, heart, I almost got that. Oh, Whew. I'm glad I oh, noticed. Blessed. <laughs> so if I were to get a mover right now, that'd be ideal. Two, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> that, because I'm, I'm basically set up really perfectly, but. Oh, 
I could, I could get, I actually could get Kuchin to pro with this fight. Alright, I try to kill it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, there's only been one mover so far. Right. Yeah. my partners are essentially dead so that's actually kind of scary okay that's 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 good fp is good i basically have a lot i also don't know if i want to heal gumbella so it's like getting three hp and like might as well have her at pearl to make right. her at least somewhat useful yeah because yeah. she's she's gonna die in one hit anyway so getting hp would make no difference Yeah, this is where game knowledge and improvisation is so big. And yeah, uh, Reed is intentionally putting his partners in peril because he has Mega Rush P, and when his partners are in peril, they do five extra damage. That was good. Yeah, um, I don't, actually don't know if the Spinja's gonna die. <laughs> um, okay, let me think. I can look up the HP if you'd like. Yes. What's the enemy <laughs> called? Uh, Spun- uh, Sp Spunya, I think. Spunya. I got you. Don't even do anything until I find out. Okay, it has max HP oh. of 12. <laughs> and you did... Okay, so I did 5, I think. What's his defense? Uh, 2. I did 6. I'm about to do 5. It's going to be at 11. Yeah, he will not be dead. Uh, piercing Blow would do 6. Fire Drive would do... Well, if, if you I, did, okay, if you did, so what did I, you do five or six uh, at the start? I, I wait. Did I first? Uh huh. I think I first striked it. Oh, but I, I ah, but I used the um, fright mask with coops, so I actually yeah cannot kill it. I what I can do is like I like I'm not gonna use the stopwatch anywhere. I could just hope for the best. Try. I can, <laughs> yeah. I can find out its stopwatch percentage. Yeah. Cause I don't want to run because I used the fright mask. I'm not running. That is. That and we is, have that we have that. plenty of time here, so this is not this is not an issue. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out like what's like. I can ice storm. I want to say about poison puffs, but like. <sighs> this thing can also freeze. There's also a chance it just doesn't use the item, and there's also a chance that they don't fall asleep. But the, the, uh, <laughs> that's very slim. Stopwatch is for, is uh, stop, right? That's the uh, the status. Yeah. Ninety percent. Mm -hmm. God. <laughs> All right, we're, we're gonna <laughs> react. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, well, that sucks. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I kind of thought I had to use it on a singular. Wait, I just did six, so it would have died. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's well, the bird. Oh, it's the bird. It's the bird. I think. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh my it's god. One dance. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so. Bad. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's co-op. I barely, I barely use stopwatches anyway. But dang, dude, not like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I've got the wiki open okay. now, so if there are any questions, I'm, I'm here on the encyclopedia, ready to help. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna ultra hammer this fight because there's another bristle. Math for nothing. <laughs> no, we got to display. This is the kind of thing. If you were to do this challenge, that's the kind of thing you would come into contact with, like having to. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. You gotta weigh like every like um outcome really yeah. oh um the thunder just looks actually looking kind of nice but i can also just super guard 
Next fight has to be level oh up. God. Okay, and I'm okay, hurt, so yeah, that's that good. Is really good. I think I have Super Shroom? No, I, I used it. Yeah, yeah I used it on Mario. Dang, oh, I'm gonna get that FP drop. Oh boy. Um, What's my FP looking like? I don't know, we good. No. <laughs> okay. Ice Slim works well in this fight. It's no, you know what? This this is fine. Ice Storm just has to work on the Arantulas. So what I can do is put Mario in the front, and then use the Ice Storm and then Power Shell. Ice Storm. But that's like is risky. Sixty percent on the Piranha Plants and seventy percent on the Arantulas. Okay, so it's most likely gonna work on them, but not the Piranha Plant. Okay. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Okay, cool. That's all I really cared. The Arantulas. <laughs> Can't use Fire Drive though, because that would remove it. She killed this one with just two head bonks because she's got pearl. Yeah. The ones up there is basically dead. Um, I don't want Goombella to die at this point. I actually want to stay at pearl. Um, actually, for this fight specifically, actually, I don't care if she dies because if she dies, or if Coops dies, that's worse than actually Goombella dying, but then I won't do much damage on the front of that. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I think this fight is over. Does it? Have no, it doesn't have defense. Okay, I think this fight is over. Okay, yeah. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, Alright, uh. Um, if there was ever any doubt that this is hard. <laughs> I'm a top player and I'm still having a hard time. <laughs> so this this is this is hard. Really hard. Alright, 89. We're there, we're basically there. Movers uh, getting a mover would be insane, I'm gonna be honest. It would help me a lot. It'd, it'd calm down my nerves a bit. Alright, um let's hope there's a relanch a ranch this fight so Umbella can actually do something. I'm not uh, there are no possible arantulas in this floor. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. Um, <laughs> still doable. Can Coops back? Just have to play really weirdly. Uh, I'm just gonna ultra him. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, even on top of the defend command, you can also defend by pressing A for an action command yeah. and get extra defense. Yeah. And we're back in peril with both partners. Yeah. Risky spot, but I, I have, like, no other choice right now. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Scary for because elite wizards, but, you know, still doable. What's the pattern you want to see here? Not five of them. Yeah, they're, <laughs> the other two patterns are two elite wizards and one swampire, and one elite wizard and two poison puffs. Yeah, the poison puffs is ideal because they can move down and you can just damage them easily. I'm gonna put on double dip because that's actually kind of useful, and zap tap because why not? <laughs> okay. 
we, we do, this fight can be easy, or, well, I do have Thunder Rages, but that formation can actually appear again, so I don't want to... Okay, good. Ooh, okay. nice. Okay. Um, more ideally, I do want to actually... I forget if they die from a single hink of headbox, I'm just going to... We didn't get the bad for me. Yeah, uh, there's a question. That's, are amazes are amazes dangerous? I would say they're actually good. Uh, for what? some of the patterns. Okay, that hurt almost. Yeah, yeah, they're actually good, but it depends if there's two. <laughs> so yeah. And they because there can be they two. can appear uh, starting on floor ninety. This floor ninety two. This is the first floor where they start appearing. And I think they stop at. 98? I forgot. I actually forgot about the Amazing Daisies. Um, like, 98, what? yeah. 98 is like, the how? last floor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they give tons of experience. Uh, and there are yeah. certain patterns where they're pretty easy to deal with, and others not so much. Yeah, this is where I would want to use <laughs> Ice Storm, but Bright uh, Mass is more guaranteed to work. Okay, sure. I like that. We take those. I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really tense up right now. Take a deep breath. Oh man. no. It'll all be good. Yeah, you're, you're right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use the fire flower actually. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna use the fire flower since I'm. That's like. Yeah. The and least that's not gonna be useful feeling, like anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. It's still useful for elite wizards, but not as like potent as the thunder rages and thunderstorm. Or bolt. Yeah, the only problem with the Maisie Daisies is that they insta kill. Yeah. Oh, this is a pre fight. <laughs> you you like you wanna see these guys because they don't really give you bad formations unless you know that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is still fine though, because Gabella actually just kind of gets rid of them if she's at Pearl, so that's what the good part. Oh, I didn't do that right. I'm gonna do this. Wait, does she have one defense? Oh, she I would does. run. Oh, no. I would run there. Back to, it's actually too late now. <laughs> okay, let's hope she just runs. Okay, we're actually gonna redo that, because I do want the Yeah, SP. oh my god, read. <laughs> Or I, I was like, I was gonna say they have tons have defense. of defense. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. You need this to, you right. need to uh, run there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's try that again. You can kill them though with the multi bomb. Got to get all of them, I think. I don't know how much you need, but twenty. You can. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just gonna. I was gonna do a fire drive, but I forgot how much damage, base damage they have. Four. Yeah. Oh, okay, I could have done it. I think, well, don't quote me on that. Right. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I dropped that. I dropped that fire drive. I was like, okay, well, I'm not doing it now. <laughs> okay. All right, this fight's over. All right. I I did Good. not want to be the reason the run ended. <laughs> I didn't know if they had any buffs yet, or... <laughs> it is for? Okay, okay, that's cool. They didn't, so I was, that's why I asked, though. Um, 
we're pretty good. I'm just gonna do HP for the sake of the marathon. We're, we're good on stats. We're, we're actually good on everything. So HP is technically viable. It's just faster as FP because it's... Actually, I think on JP it's faster because it highlights FP automatically. On JP, you actually have to move back... Or in English, you have to move back and forth for it to appear. Uh... The big brain strat would be five of these and use zap tap. I'm sad. You're right, but <laughs> the fact that I got oh, it. Oh no, I should have said anything. I can fright mask it. Like, I can give you the percent the, if you like, want. Like we just leveled up. I already used All it. Alright, well. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It was 50%. <laughs> it was 50%. Oh my god. I got like. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We're gonna try to kill this one. I'm afraid you needed 20 there. Yeah. Okay. That's bad. Actually, Gumbella. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna level up, so I don't want to use Gumbella to end this. Dang it. Hey, Mario. I'm messing up these guys' super guard. Oh, I got the first one. Nice. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how much I jump on them, then I just keep doing it, because I'm like, you know what? I forgot. Might as well just go for a high score. Because <laughs> <laughs> keeping track is actually important for the sake of time, obviously. If you're going fast, you want to stop on the exact number. Uh, oh, please don't be bad. Is this 85 or 95? Okay, so 95. Uh, okay, we, we still have two down the ridges. This, this is fine. Just a tad bit scary. Okay. Yeah, we have everything, so we're good. Oh, oh okay, okay. okay. We, we're not even just—we're not even okay. getting it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there All is right. only one more floor where five elite wizards is possible. Yeah, and I think that's the last mm -hmm. one. Uh, so, for everybody talking about what is this, what's happening, uh, this is pre-Hooktail Pit of 100 Trials. So, Reed is challenging the Pit of 100 Trials before beating Hooktail, and the category ends when Reed beats Bonetail. Yeah. Well, when he picks up Return Postage. Yeah, yeah, more specifically. I thought he was going for Coops. I played it safe. You're gonna level up anyway. I'm gonna level up anyway. Yeah, so it's... Real coon, I would never. We're guaranteed to finish if we get the bone tail, by the way, because we have power punch. So it's this run, if I get there, it's guaranteed to just finish. <laughs> The benefit of stylish well right now there's no benefit i just like it <laughs> and some of them don't lose time if you cancel them as soon as you can or just at all poison puff uh oh what the okay um reminder that if you don't get the multi bomb to run yeah You got the super guard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I can just walk in this guy because I got the super guard on him. That was coming. I tried to super guard it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Hey, that's a few star points. <laughs> okay. Spamming HP. So yeah, if you ever did this in a casual playthrough and then moved on to the rest of the game after beating it, <laughs> you'd be invincible. Yeah, you really would be. Okay, 97. Uh, I think. Okay, I was hoping it was this. Because now I'm just going to fire drive them. What is going on? So fire drive explodes these guys, but it's yeah. only four damage per, as we found out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Then level up. But How good. are you? Should level up next. So to... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 90. 98's no. the vampire. Oh boy. This fight takes really this long. This is the one possible double amazing Daisy. In the whole game. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, confu two. Oh, this game hates me. Okay. Um. Let me think. I. I okay. Yeah, I have not many options here, so I kind of have to just take one of the confuse. Hope they use it. Also, doesn't matter. Coops, I actually would rather Coops die. So it'd be less painful. Because Mario literally cannot die. Okay, that's fine. Let me do it with Mario first, because he'll jump in poops. And then Poops won't be able to attack me. Are you really making me run? <sighs> Confused can do that, it makes you run. <laughs> commands aren't messed up by confusion yeah well you can the only action command you can actually control is the running one like mash a still and run <laughs> now I can't take Umbella out to make this a bit faster. But you also can't die. It's yeah, so that's so good. So that's part. good. <laughs> yeah. I can I can use at least actually no, that's wrong. Because if I if I get the five elite wizards, Mario won't be able to kill them. I have to, like, the strat is double dip Thunder Rage twice into Power Shell. Or actually, no, that's wrong. Double dip into Fire Drive, because I, I think that kills all of them. Your FP is also a little low. Oh, that's right, I was not realizing that. And you can very easily just bounce here if you want. It'll be yeah. slow, but. Yeah. Uh. Typically, this fight's supposed to go Mario, Koops healthy, Goombella at one, quick change to Goombella, kill one of them with Goombella, quick change back to Koops, do nothing, you know, rinse and repeat, that whole thing. So you got you actually gotta keep Koops alive, but if you're in this situation, it's fine, because one, you never die, but it's really slow. Oh, you're getting a level up here. 
I did not realize that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I the only reason I said the FP thing was because of uh next fight, but my bad. Nah, uh, yeah, I figured. Ugh. Okay. That's gonna be 99, right? Okay. Yeah, this is the last four. If it's the fight, and if it's not, I got lucky. <laughs> um, double dip yeah. yeah, that oh, that music only appears when um your partner's dead. Okay. Wait, I <laughs> I used thunder. Oh. Volt. Or the the volt. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> that was any percent because double dip. You're supposed to scroll down, but it's fine. Hold up. And it should be good. As long as they don't turn invisible, we're fine. Okay, we're good. Flub on my part, but that, that was any percent muscle memory. <laughs> 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 it made me scroll Read down. Read that miss so menu. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot with you right now. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're on Bone Tail. Take, yeah. a, take a deep breath. Okay. Take a deep breath. You got this. Deep breath. Deep breath. Let me. Okay. Let me look at my stuff before I go yeah, in. No sense in. Just take some time. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're good. We can actually we can put on lucky day just because you know that's better than having literally anything else on. No power bounce. Uh, Mario doesn't do damage okay. with his jump. Piercing blow is like a backup, so is fire drive. But fire drive is more FP than piercing blow, so piercing blow is better. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It is good. The bow is at one, right? All right. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Power, power, power punch ends this in six turns. So typically it's 12 turns. <laughs> Take Let's your time on the power punch menu, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go slow as I can. <laughs> or as I feel. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. That's how I was like looking for it. <laughs> I knew it too. Okay. Alright. We're gonna get some damage in. The thing with not having Sweet Tree here is, um, can't heal coops. Yeah, I don't have any healing. Man, that timing's different from Hooktail. Huh. Strange. can do anything about that. Um Timing's so weird. 
<laughs> okay, game. There we go. All right. No, <laughs> okay, so there's still a chance because I've done a lot of damage, but this is going to be very tedious, and he's healing, okay. You have some items. Yeah, that's true. And he's healing again, alright, this is more impossible now. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's the last time you can heal though. Oh my god, he could have. That was gonna kill me. <laughs> nah, I died. Oh, read GG, dude. Oh what a valiant god. effort. <laughs> Truly such a valiant effort. Can we please get some GG's in the chat for Reed? Please. This run is relentless. The fact that Reed even made it to Bone Tail is so <laughs> impressive. Wow, Reed, that was so sick. Like, okay, obviously I know you're gonna be upset about the fact that you didn't beat Bone Tail, but you have to be proud of making it there in a marathon run. Yeah, that, that is true, that is true. Uh, I, I had like the requirements to actually just beating him first try, but I was missing the super guards because I was I, I was just my hands are cold and I was a of bit course, nervous. Of course, of course. Um, well, uh, you know, it took. I, I think we're gonna have to call it there probably, given that another attempt might take. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you, but I think we should probably call it. Yeah, there. calling it is definitely good. Um, everybody, please, for the love of God, follow Reed on Twitch. Reed does Super Mario Sunshine speedruns, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door speedruns, and who knows, maybe Reed this week even will attempt world record attempts at this category. Uh, yeah. Reed, what do you got to say? This was fun. I, I like doing this. Uh, I tried to be safe as possible, um, but, you know, it's fine. I was set up to beat him perfectly fine, but nerves got to me. But I, I will get world record eventually in this. I'm, 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 it, I know really. I have no right to be, but I'm very proud of you. <laughs> this is, th Thank you. this, no, this no, is no, a you, tough you. setting to perform this run in. So, and again, you know, yeah. challenger approaching is not just about like completing challenges. It's also about attempts. So, uh, this is definitely yeah. something that we plan for. So GG to you. Uh, and I think we're going to kick it over to a break here to close it out. Um, but first <sighs> a few ads here uh thank you for watching challenger approaching of course stick around after the ad break because we're gonna raid someone so be sure to stick around for that um but just like to say that agdq 2021 online is complete and the total is 2.77 million dollars for now uh but as a reminder as a reminder all of gdq's portion of subs gift subs prime gaming subs and bits cheered on the gdq twitch channel for the month of january will be donated to the prevent cancer foundation so there's still a chance that we can hit that three million total and GDQ Hotfix is a series of shows like this one that happens every week here on Games Unquick. Information for all the shows is available at gamesunquick.com slash hotfix. So please follow Reed at twitch.tv slash Reed underscore QT. I'll be posting it in the chat throughout the break. And then after that, we will be raiding someone. So stick around 
Thank you so much for watching and read. GG. GG's. That was fun.